In this video we'll show you how to install our most common front motor. First you'll have to remove the front wheel from your bike. Loosen the quick release skewer on your front wheel. Remove the front wheel off of the bike. Remove the disc brake retaining bolt. Typically this would be a T25 Torx bit. If it's a hex socket then it most likely is a 4mm Allen driver. Remove the disc brake from the front wheel while taking care not to touch the braking surface. Our 100mm wide front motors can work with either rim brakes or disc brakes. In this case, we'll be using disc brakes. Disc brakes are installed on the left side of the motor, the same side where you will see the motor wire. Identify the correct spin direction of the disc. Most commonly, any marks on the disc point towards the outside of the wheel. Carefully thread the motor wire through the center of the disc and place it over its mounting surface. Tighten the disc brake bolts to 4 Nm in a crisscross pattern. Familiarize yourself with the motor washers and nuts that come with the kit. Our 100mm wide front motors come with 2 axle nut, 2 float washers and 2 torque washers. From the outside towards the motor, the correct order is nut, flat washer, then torque washer, then fork and then motor in the center. Now we are ready to install the motor on the fork. The two flat faces on the fork's dropout must align properly with the flat faces of the motor axle. Let's see that from another angle. If using disc brakes, make sure the disc aligns properly with the brake caliper when installing the motor. Then, install the washers and nuts following the order previously described. First, the torque washer with the step intentionally filling the gap in the fork's dropout. Following, install the flat washer. Finally, screw the axle nuts on. Repeat this sequence on the opposite side. Tighten the axle nuts on both sides to 25 Nm. 